All right, I'm back. So I wanted to show you a couple of these systems and then how I've used the screws to secure the shunt itself between the screws in there. So there you go, right? You can see that I've looped around uh, both screw heads, okay, incorporated the shunt itself. There's a short finger trap in there to hold stuff in place. Okay, everything's cut nice and tight. So that's that system. Okay. And when you look at this system over here, it's kind of very similar. Okay, well, there we go. So screws, screw heads, have suture material that goes around the screw head. You see the 90 degree elbow placed there so that the ventricular portion can go into the ventricles. So two screws, a small elbow, uh, some suture material, and they're all connected together and this is to hold things in place. Now, I also, so now once you've done that, okay, then you may want to attach, oh, right there. So you may want to attach, okay, your valve, so this is the ventricular portion still, and then here's the valve, so this would now lay in the animal's neck subcutaneously, okay? But when you connect the distal portion that goes into the peritoneal cavity, the ventricular portion, and they get attached to the valve, notice here, what do you see at the end? So there's suture, right? And these have been cinched down, but they've been cinched down over the plastic of the valve. Okay, and that's what allows us to do that. Again, if you tied these too tight and it was on silicone, silicone would crimp. So I'm going to see if I can pull one of these off. Eh, oof, there we go. And that took a lot to pull that off there. But then this is what I then sutured down. Right? Get my fingers on there. Feed that over there. Come on. Feed it through. Talking to myself. There we go. All right. So this is what you would now suture over. Okay. And if you wonder what that is, that's a fire ant bite. We have fire ants in North Carolina and they really hurt. You don't even know they're there until they hurt. All right. Ugh. Now the next portion we're going to talk about is the abdomen. Okay. So this is the part that's up in the skull. Okay, this is the part that sits subcutaneously in there. But now we have to get to the abdomen. So how do we get there? Okay, well, there's two ways. Okay, one way is that we use a shunt passer. Again, Christmas shunt passer. Wait, that's what a shunt passer looks like. Stainless steel here, and then look at that end. All right, that's a shunt passer. Okay. And what you would do is I would pass this whoop, up from, so I'd have to make an abdominal incision. I would then pass this up subcutaneously till we get all the way to the skull. And then we're going to free up at this end. And then what you're going to do is you're going to attach this here to the end. And before you pass this through now, so now that I've passed that through and attached it, what am I going to do? I'm going to put a suture on there because if I don't put a suture on there and that pulls off halfway, then I'm just going to have to repeat the process again. So suture around here in the stainless steel. Now you do this. Ready? Ooh, you pass that down through subcutaneously. I'm going to take this off. Boop. There we go. All right. So this, this went subcutaneously. It's sitting there. I then would take this end through. I would put it in a sterile towel and I would leave this here. Then this is when I would have my resident close up the skull portion, okay? Whatever I have going on here, whatever the resident close up the skull portion, while I then worked on the abdominal portion, okay? If you have to do each, that's fine too. Hold on one second, drop some stuff. Ugh, it's a real live home video, so what do you expect? Things are gonna happen. All right, so now let's talk about the abdomen. So what I have is, here's all my material sitting here. It's waiting, and now it has to get into the abdomen, 
All right, so that's the next portion.